details. Susie and Juan, right now we're expecting at least three, if not all five, of the suspects to make their first appearance in court here any minute now. All five of them, though, we can tell you are facing some serious charges. Some include attempted murder. I'll show you some video from when this happened. Just this afternoon, LAPD confirmed three of the suspects are accused in the robbery and shooting of Lady Gaga's dog walker, Ryan Fisher, back in late February. Remember this TMZ video from a neighbor security camera capturing part of the violent attack. LAPD says just off Sunset Boulevard, a car pulled up to Fisher. Two people got out, and in the struggle to take the French Bulldogs, Fisher was shot once in the chest. Today, LAPD arrested 18-year-old James Jackson, 19-year-old Jalen White, and 27-year-old Lafayette Whaley. All of them arrested for robbery and attempted murder. And then you'll remember, after this news broke of the dogs being taken and the dog walker being shot, Gaga posted a reward online for half a million dollars to get her dogs back. Well, two days later, those dogs, Gustav and Koji, were dropped off at LAPD's Olympic station. Police did not initially say much about who dropped them off. Now, though, they say 50-year-old Jennifer McBride claimed to have found the dogs. Investigators later tied her to the father of one of the suspects, 40-year-old Harold White. Now he and McBride are facing charges for accessory to attempted murder. Investigators do not think Fisher was targeted. They don't believe because they say the suspects didn't know that Fisher was Lady Gaga's dog walker. They do believe, though, he was targeted because he had the French Bulldogs, and they say there's evidence suggesting that the suspects knew just how valuable those dogs are. Four of the five suspects, all of them except for McBride, according to LAPD, are documented gang members from here in Los Angeles. Of course, there is much more to come on this, and we will keep you posted. Live in downtown LA, Rick Montanez, KKL 9 News. All right, Rick, thank you very much. Two innocent people.